Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Saman Habibi, your real estate agent for the Durham region and Oshawa. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you should be preparing your offers and submitting your offers on properties that you're interested in. If you'd like to connect with me on different socials, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Saman Habibi underscore real estate. I'm also on Twitter and on LinkedIn. And if you like, you're more than welcome to book a 15 minute call with me via my link here, uh, where we can talk about your personal situation and what you're getting into. So today we're gonna be talking about how you should be preparing your offers in a shifting market. So as you know, and as you've heard in the news, the real estate market in the Durham region, and in fact, anywhere, everywhere in the GTA is changing and changing so quickly. And of course, the change in the market is due to the fact that interest rates are increasing, there's more inventory coming to market, there's unrealistic expectations from sellers, and as a result, this is causing a lot of worry, a lot of fear um, to people listing their properties, and it's also creating additional fear for people who are looking to purchase the property. And as a result, the two different parties cannot agree, and this is causing a, a shift in the market where properties are not selling at the manner that they used to sell. So one of the problems that this has created in a shifting market is that even if people are interested and are making a purchase, typically what people like to do is extend their closing period for a future point in time. Um, and they think that this will give them some sort of certainty. As time passes by, market will perhaps correct itself, come back up, and you know they have more time to, to create savings and uh, give themselves additional time to close on a property. Now, you know, in a perfect world, this would be great, but this can also backfire on you in the sense that if you delay your closing period to let's say three, three months down the line, and in those three months, the market continues going down, um, you know, you're going to have an issue with your appraisal and you're perhaps going to run, in, run into a uh, situation where um, your appraisal from the bank does not agree to your purchase price and there's actually a gap in price. And that gap in price is something that you have to essentially come up with cash. So that's one of the problems that we're seeing in the market right now. So in any shifting market, what I like to tell my clients is that this is the time where you can start negotiating and essentially demanding the clauses that you have not been able to demand in the last year or so. So as you know, in the GTA um, in, in 2020 and 2021, the market was so hot due to cheap money and low amounts of inventory that it was a seller's market. So the sellers can essentially list their property for any price that they want. Um, they were getting a lot of showings. Showings were turning into offers and offers were turning into multiple offers and multiple offers turned into the listing agent essentially negotiating the price up for their sellers. So in that situation where there's a ton of offers, um, the buyer did not essentially have any room to negotiate for clauses that would protect them in the purchase. So by clauses, I mean a clause for an inspection to inspect the property, a clause for financing to ensure that the financing and the appraisal on the property came in at the purchase price that they, that they paid for the property. But now because we're seeing that shift in the market, I think the ball is in the court of the buyer. The buyer has the ability to essentially have these conversations with the listing agent and demand some of these things. So for example, we spoke about the inspection and the financing clause. And I would say in this market, the financing clause more than anything is by far something that you do not want to omit or, or leave out. And that's because we're still anticipating more interest rates to come into the market. And as interest rates come into the market, we're expecting prices to decline. So if you buy a property today, today is May 18th, you buy a property today, and it closes, let's say 60 days down the line, that would essentially take, take us into August, end of August. We know that June 1st, there's going to be an interest rate announcement, and there's perhaps a chance that after June 1st, prices come slightly lower, and as they come lower, your appraisal might come in lower as well. So by having a financing clause, this means that you're essentially going to be in a hurry to get your appraisal done right away as soon as that, as soon as that purchase and agreement sale is signed. That's great, your offer is signed, you book the appraisal right away, appraiser comes in, does the appraisal within five business days, the value is determined, you have the ability to say whether you are comfortable with this or not, because the financing clause, if done properly, is to the sole and absolute discretion of the buyer. So for any reason, you can determine if that appraisal is what you're comfortable with or not. So that essentially will protect you in a down market when, when prices are going down and declining. 
And we can definitely talk about a few examples. In my previous video, we spoke about a property that we saw in Clarington where this property was purchased in February at the peak of the market for a million 35. This property actually got a lot of um, news and, and media surrounding it. Um, the buyers could not close on the purchase of a million 35. So the deal fell through. The property came back on the market and it was uh, later sold for $850,000. On that property, when it was sold the second time, there was a financing clause to ensure that um, in a shifting market that, that we've spoke about, essentially the appraisal is done in a timely manner and the appraisal can support the purchase price. Um, I've also seen this happen in, in Oshawa where a property was purchased in at the end of January, again, when the market was on the, on the the um, at its very peak. Um, and the closing was not in for a three month period. So in that three month, the market had obviously shifted down and the appraisal had come in materially lower. So in summary, and my thoughts uh, of what's going on in the market is that we know that the market's shifting, um, homes are not selling. And as a result, if you're interested on a property, you have the ability to request some of the clauses that you have not been able to request in the past in order to protect yourself uh, in any purchase that you're involved in. And the most important one being the financing clause. As always, again, thank you guys for coming back to the channel and watching another video. I hope you found this valuable. If you did, please leave me a like, a comment, uh, and feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. And again, if you're interested and if you wanna talk about your own personal situation, feel free to book a call with me via my link here, uh, where we can jump on a 15 minute complimentary call and talk about exactly what your concerns are and see if we can come up with a game plan.